Okay, guys. So we're going to talk about sources today. Um, and then just so you know, um, in science, a source is a place you can get evidence. It's important to think about whether your evidence comes from a, a reliable source that is providing quality evidence. Um, today and at other points in this unit, we will learn a few of the many ways that you can think about the quality sources in science. All right, so evidence is higher quality if it comes from a reliable source. That's where um, our, our warm up started with, where we were trying to figure out what makes something a reliable source. Um, <clears throat> So all disciplines like history, English, and science have their own sources that they count on to provide strong evidence. In science, um, strong, reliable sources are ones that other scientists who have expertise in the subject area have checked and revised. All right, so some more or less um, reliable sources. is not something that I have right now, so we're just gonna move on. <laughs> um, so we've got peer review and we've got the reliability of sources. A science journal is different than a magazine because it contains published scientific research. When information is put on government websites or published in science journals, usually a group of experts have checked over the information to make sure it's accurate. Because so many people check the data, these sources are considered to have more reliable data, evidence, and information than other sources might. Um, and that's what, if you've ever heard peer reviewed, and as we're going through a lot of what um, we're going through right now with the coronavirus, is they're going to talk about peer reviewed um, information. And that means that other scientists have tried to, um, to mimic or copy the tests and the results um, to get the same thing, um, the same results when they do um, these studies, these experiments, whatever word you want to use in there. All right, so checking sources and making sure they're reliable is an extremely important practice. Even sometimes make mistakes or publish faulty data, but the process, but part of the process of science is that scientists are always checking and evaluating one another's research. So thinking back to what I did in 3.1, okay, I looked at my data when I was in the simulation, saw that there was a problem. I knew that my data um, was not um, what it was supposed to be. So I had to go back and I had to check. A lot of science is exactly that, is we're going back and we're redoing science experiments to make sure that we have those patterns and those trends um, so that they do become reliable sources but also it's okay to make mistakes because that's how we learn um, it's through our mistakes that we learn all right so we're gonna do the evidence gradient hopefully you guys are used to doing this um, I am um, doing just a little bit different okay so I, I have my own little makeshift evidence gradient here okay and we know that evidence at the the top is stronger than evidence that's on the bottom. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is we're gonna just look at sources, okay? So I've got some cards here, and unfortunately, you're probably not going to be able to read these as well as I would hope. Um, so I am just going to read them um, out loud, and then I'm gonna place them um, where I think that they go. All right. So it, evidence is higher quality if it comes from a reliable source. Okay. If it can, if the results can be duplicated, um, that's really what we're focusing on here. So the National Weather Service, which is a government agency. So if we have some information from the National Weather Service, which is a government agency, and we talked about um, how whether um, or government agencies oftentimes get their um, information from multiple places. So I would think that that's probably um, some pretty strong evidence. So I'm gonna use my little gradient here and I'm gonna put it towards the top, okay? Um, just know that this is probably gonna get really crowded. Okay, so um, card B, 
is a cartoon show on television that is about animals that live in Prairieville, Texas. The main character is a groundhog meteorologist. Um, it's funny, I'm in Texas right now, um, and so that makes me giggle just a little bit, um, <laughs> that it's a groundhog that's a meteorologist. Every, uh, every February 2nd, we uh, rely on a groundhog meteorologist. But because it's a cartoon, I'm gonna say that that's kind of lower quality evidence, that whatever, whatever it says, it's gonna be less strong. So I'm gonna put it towards the bottom of my evidence gradient. All right, so um, card C has evidence um, that comes from a classroom blog from a grade six classroom studying weather. The students shared data with three other classes in nearby towns and all data was examined by each class. Okay, so that's got some evidence of some peer review, right? That it's got some sixth grade students who shared it and looked at it um, with other classes. And so, what, what, what's the quality of that evidence? What do you think? Where would you place this? So this one's a hard one, right? Because it, it needs that peer reviewed place, but it does come from sixth grade students um, and not that you guys aren't wonderful, amazing, observant little scientists. Um, it's probably not as strong as we'd want it um, maybe it's, it's around, um, the same as, um, Prairieville USA, which is a, a cartoon show. Um, maybe it's more because it's been repeated. Maybe it's less because it's, um, it's kiddos, but it's definitely not as strong as the National Weather Service. All right. So next up, government website focused on weather around the world. So I'm thinking about this one. And I'm thinking, okay, well, it's a government agency. Mm, but it's a government agency throughout the world. I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's on that stronger edge, right? It's a government agency but it is dealing with around the world. So I'm gonna put it a little bit lower than the National Weather Service because the National Weather Service is specific to the United States. All right, so um, source E, notes taken by someone during a huge rainstorm in South Dakota in 2012. The person regularly takes measurements of temperature and rainfall and sends them to a local meteorologist. All right, so this evidence source, it's just one person, it's not really been repeated. They are making observations and observations um, don't necessarily mean that like they're not true when it's just done by one person, but we definitely want to see repeated observations. So I'm gonna put this evidence card a little bit lower here. Um, and then my last source is um, a research article written by scientists. And so thinking about thinking about what um, what makes a reliable source, I'm going to say that that that's going to probably be our our highest our highest, our strongest piece of evidence about stuff. So let's go on and let's look at what these pieces of evidence actually are. 